Gentlemen, uh, today we are back with the playlist of planets in certain houses from Venus. We have discussed the sixth house from Venus in our recent video. Today it's the time for the seventh house. So what happens if you have a planet in the seventh house from where Venus is sitting in? Remember, not seventh house from your ascendant, not seventh house from your moon. So wherever your Venus is, from there you count seven houses, right? So for example, if your Venus is in third house, so which house should you look at? Please write it down in the comments, all right? So as usual, if you're new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it down below. And God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your career, marriage or health or relationships or childbirth, then please go to my uh, website, which you will find in the description section. Okay, so we got to understand what, what is the seventh house from Venus? So we discussed in the sixth house from Venus that the sixth house from Venus shows things which obstruct relationships, right? But then what's the seventh house, right? So in Vedic astrology, both the sixth and the seventh are houses of obstruction, right? The seventh house is not exactly only obstruction. It can show things which can uh, either make you or break you. Right. So therefore, whenever you are talking of planets in seventh house, uh, see the sixth house shows uh, enemies which you can't see. Right. Hidden enemies. Uh, but the seventh house shows open enemies. Right. So when you are indulging in a physical fight with somebody, that's like the seventh house. OK. Now, the planets in the uh, seventh house from Venus can show a similar situation, a uh, situation or uh, things which can either make your relationship or break it, right? So what does it mean, make or break? See, seventh house represents things which either suck your energy or provide energy to you, right? So what happens when uh, you are in a partnership with somebody? So imagine you, you, you are in a company or you know, imagine uh, you are single, right? So then what happens? If, if you are very good, then you will do good, right? But now imagine you, you are single, but uh, you are in a partnership with somebody, right? <clears throat> Either it's in your family life or it's in your career, either ways. Or maybe you are uh, employed, you are an employee and you are working uh, with somebody, right? Uh, in, within your team, but well, it's like you are collaborating together. So imagine the person who is good, good in the sense who is compatible with you, who has good interests for himself and also for you. Uh, so then what happens? Uh, there, is, there is a huge difference between you working alone or as single and you working together, right? So it means your energy has been enhanced now, right? So similarly, if a planet in the seventh house from Venus is supporting Venus, then it enhances Venus, which means it helps you uh, in your relationships, uh, in dealing with women, in dealing with opposite sex, in dealing with uh, your husband or your wife, right? It helps you in dealing with uh, things like beauty, creativity, or you know, like uh, anything which has to do with looks, visuals, and appeals, right? So that is what the seventh house represents. Now, how do you know? <clears throat> If a planet, and of course, the opposite is also true. So if you are in a partnership with somebody who does not have the best interests for you and is not wanting the best thing for you, in, in, instead wants to pull you down, right? So what happens? You are better off to be single, right? But now what happens? Um, you, you, you are kind of stuck because, you know, you are in this partnership, you are in this relationship or you are in this marriage, right? Or whatever or some legal bonding, legal bondage, and you can't escape, right? So then what happens? Every moment your energy is going down. Of course, that person's energy is also going down because that person is only focused in pulling you down, right? So therefore, uh, depending on what these planets are doing in the chart, it will be decided either they're helping Venus or they're not helping Venus, right? So now the question is, how do you know? If these planets are helping Venus or they are pulling Venus down, as I said, if they are helping, then Venus will be enhanced. You will 
you will find a support which you may not find from anywhere right uh, but if they are pulling you down then it's like a never ending crisis which will which will always daunt upon you irrespective of anything which happens right so for example sometimes uh, people get into relationships or they get married and they uh, approach astrologers and they tell that oh sir you know whenever i get into a relationship all the women that I meet, they are of this category. All the men that I meet, they are of this category, right? So why does it happen? It's because the seventh house from Venus is acting in a particular way, which is either supporting you or pulling you down, right? So how do you know what these planets are doing? Well, first of all, you got to understand that the planets, which, which are the planets that help Venus? You may, write it down in the comments which other planets do you think helps venus right because it's common sense you have to understand what venus represents right venus represents a uh, semen in a man it represents the wife uh, of a man it can show the sister of a man it, uh, or nowadays even for women it can uh, mean the husband or the spouse right uh, it can show creativity beauty and all this right so first of all the second house the fifth house, the seventh house, right? And of course, Venus also represents you know, materialistic desire. So 11th house. So therefore, if, if the lords of the second house, fifth house, or the seventh house or the 11th house from the Lagna, right? So for example, if you are Sagittarius Lagna, so who is your second lord? Who is it? Who is he, right? Saturn, Shani Maharaj. So Saturn is the Lord of the second house, right? So then similarly, the fifth Lord, then the seventh Lord and the 11th Lord, right? So these four planets from the ascendant, if the Lords of the second, fifth, seventh and 11th are placed in the seventh from Venus, then this can help Venus, right? Now, then there is another layer to it. Just because suppose Venus is in... Uh, the ninth house, for example, and you have uh, a planet in the uh, in the third house, which is the Lord of the eleventh, right? So, nine the seventh from Venus has the Lord of the eleventh from Lagna, so it should help Venus, right? But then there's a problem. What if this planet is a natural malefic? Then this problem comes. So imagine uh, Saturn is the Lord of the eleventh house, and Saturn is sitting in the seventh house from Venus. So what happens? Now, there's another layer three to this. Saturn is a friend of Venus, right? He's a natural friend. But now um, he's a natural malefic. And now, before that, he was a lord of the 11th house, right? So do you do this plus, minus, plus? So two things are plus, you know, 11th lord plus um, natural friends plus natural malefic minus so does it mean one plus one minus one equals one <laughs> does it mean uh, this, this is how people do astrology they say oh my uh, my planet is exalted uh, no no they say my planet is debilitated but it is in this house so the debility will not affect me or they say my planet is exalted but it is in a dustana so it will not give good results right well Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, astrology doesn't work like that. You know, one plus one uh, may not be two, it can be 20 also, right? And one minus one may not be zero, it may be minus thousand also, right? So you got to understand that if the lords of the second, fifth, seventh, or eleventh are in the seventh house from Venus, then it can help you. But there's a catch if the planet is a natural malefic. So, for example, Saturn and Venus are aspecting each other. And as I said, uh, Saturn is the 11th Lord and Venus is in the 9th and Saturn is in the 3rd house, right? So then what does it mean? It means Venus will receive the help from Saturn, but it will come through Saturnian means, through Saturnian modes, through ways of Saturn, right? Now, what is Saturn? Saturn is um, things which you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that that's very simple right so so it's like if uh saturn is that that is why you you will always see if 
Saturn is in the seventh house from Venus in general, anywhere, right? Any ascendant, any lagna, any moon sign, any placement, any dasha, any. You will see these persons, they are very wise when it comes to relationships. Why? Why are they wise? Because they have made consistent blunders and they have got the beatings. And now they are like, oh my God, I need, I need to know where are my limits, right? <laughs> so they know what to expect, from whom to expect, when to expect, what not to expect, where to expect, where not to expect, right? So it's like, so at the end, Venus is getting benefited from Saturn, but in ways and means which you don't like. So just because he's the Lord of the 11th, it doesn't mean that it will always be good for Venus the way you think it should be good, right? So it will be good, of course. You will become more mature and more wise. You will be more realistic when it comes to relationships. You will be more uh, tolerant, more sacrificing. You will be more, you will have an attitude of giving. You will have an attitude of sacrificing. But it won't come uh, very easily. It will come after all the hardships that you go through, right? That's how karma is. And everybody has to uh, understand this karmic lesson, right? And of course, if the uh, planet in the seventh from Venus is the Lord of either the Lagna or the 6th house or the 10th house or maybe, you know, the 8th house or the 12th house, right? Where houses which inhibit you from uh, getting married, married or inhibit you from getting into relationships, then these planets can be problematic, right? These planets can give trouble that time to Venus, okay? But now here's another situation. So if you have the Lord of the 6th, who is sitting in the 7th from Venus. But what if this planet is Jupiter, which is a natural benefic? What does it mean, right? So now, Jupiter is a great benefic, but it seems now he's lording the 6th house, right? So 6th house can uh, always show divorce, you know, celibacy, brahmacharya, lack of marriage, lack of un union, unity, lack of, um companionship right it can so show so many things actually but now what will happen if jupiter as the sixth lord is in the seventh from venus then there can be difficulties there can be challenges but those challenges and difficulties will make you wise may not be in relationships but for life in general right so it can happen that if your Jupiter and Venus are aspecting each other, which means Jupiter is in the seventh from Venus and Jupiter from your Lagna is the Lord of the sixth or the tenth. And it can happen that maybe you had a lot of difficulties in marriage uh, or relationships, but at the end you understood that you are responsible for your own happiness. And when you understood this, your life improved, right? Your life drastically improved, okay? So that did not give you uh, good, uh, like uh, good periods of Venus necessarily did not give you, but it made you very wise, right? Because it's Jupiter at the end, right? But if it's a malefic, right? For example, Saturn is the sixth Lord and he's from, uh, he's in the seventh from Venus. Then it's like a precarious situation where you have all the hardships and at the end, the only thing you get is misery, right? So that is what happens. But there's one more thing which everybody ignores, right? So you see all this, and now I will see in the comments, they will be flooded. Oh, I have this placement, that didn't happen, that placement was there, this happened, my Jupiter was there, I got divorced, this happened, that happened, so many things you will say right in the comments. But you got to understand that this is just one thing, right? There are planets in the seventh from Lagna. There are planets in the second from Lagna. There are planets in the eleventh from the Lagna, right? So when you see these planets, these houses, these lords, right? And then when you see Venus, not seventh from Venus, first you see Venus, then you see seventh from Venus, right? You see sixth from Venus, the enemies. You see fifth from Venus, the future of your relationships. You see the fourth from Venus, the happiness from relationships, right? So when you see every house in your Kundli, only then you can jump to a final conclusion. So do not make the blunder of jumping into a very simplistic uh, conclusion from the horoscope. You may say, 
oh but you do not give simple answers you make things very complicated but welcome to life it's complicated <laughs> that is why astrology is so complex because imagine there are nine planets and every planet is sitting in a particular house from some other planet right and ev every house has other planets which are sitting in a particular house from that planet so maybe it can happen that venus has saturn in seventh from it so saturn is giving some lessons and saturn is the seventh lord from lagna so it is becoming good for you but maybe it can be possible that saturn is in a bad house from a particular another planet and it's ending up uh, spoiling your career during your venus dasha right it can happen if venus also lords the dusthana right like sixth eighth or twelfth so then you'll be feeling oh my god i had this knowledge uh, or rather i had this experience in relationships and at the same time my career uh, went down right why did it happen if this was supposed to be good for my relationships why did it not end up becoming good for my profession well that's how life works sometimes right so you got to understand that never ignore the entire horoscope never ignore the mahadasha the antardasha and the pratyantardasha also right mm -hmm. So once you look at your overall chart, you analyze Venus, you analyze the house of marriage. I have made countless videos on how to analyze Venus, your love, romance, relationships, marriage, married life. So once you analyze, only then you should look into the seventh house from Venus in isolation. Otherwise, if you just open your chart and you go, oh, my Venus is here, seventh from this, this is going to happen. You are going to make a colossal blunder, which maybe, or if you are making it for yourself, it's not a problem because you are anyways going to experience. But if you are an astrologer and you make a blunt prediction just by seeing this to some client, it's going to be a disaster, right? So therefore, you have to understand that do not make a real life prediction just by seeing this one video or just this one horoscope. I've said this a thousand times and I'm repeating it once again. Please look at the overall chart and the dashas. I'm repeating it again and again and again because I know people do not look at the overall chart because that's tough. Because life is tough. you got to do it, man or woman. <laughs> you can't just do it. Oh yeah, my Rahu is in uh, seventh from Venus, which means Ketu is conjunct Venus. So is it all ruined for me? What, what will happen? Right? So please let me know in the comments which planet do you have in the seventh from Venus and which house or houses is it ruling from your ascendant and what is your experience? Please write down that in this Mahadasha, this was my experience. So my married life improved, my married life went downhill. I got married, I got divorced. This happened, that happened. Let us make it a learning process, right? So please write it down in the comments. I am very eager and enthusiastic to see your comments and to learn and know from you about the seventh house from Venus. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me, please uh, go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him.